Hey guys, it's Heather. So long time no see. I am um, finally able to sit down and film um, in my new and improved room. I did do a tour, so I will link to that below. I also don't have any makeup on my face, so excuse that. I just really haven't been wearing makeup um, a whole lot lately because we've been sick. It's been really, really cold. I've had some breakouts. I have a lot of stuff that I've collected um, over the past month. So basically, um, I wanted to kind of share with you guys what I've got. So let's go ahead and get started because there is quite a lot of stuff um, that's been piled up. So the first thing I'm going to show you is Bath and Body Works. Um, they were having their 75% off sale. I had like a 20% off coupon. So there was a lot of good sales going on around um, the past couple of weeks. I went into my Bath and Body Works and they still have like like a lot of their holiday candles are five dollars um which is nice and um i did get some of those they had like the little mason jar ones were like two something some lotions that they still had quite a lot of stuff so and i didn't go when the sale first started so i went you know like last week and then the week before okay so let's go ahead and get started so um sorry everything's in the bag but just the way it works. So the first candle that I did pick up, which was $5, is the Mary Cookie. This is kind of a candle that I find you can burn all year. It smells like cookies. Put it in your kitchen. It just smells so good. I just really, really like it. Um, my brother-in-law got this for my sister for Christmas, and I passed on it because usually I don't like cookie scents, but when I went into her house and I smelt it, I'm like, oh my god, I love it. And it does smell super, super good wonderful so for five dollars you can't beat that so i did um pick mary cookie up and then um i got a body butter which this ended up only being like three dollars i believe and it's the warm vanilla sugar intense moisture body butter i have one of these that a friend of mine sent me a while ago and i never buy them because they are fifteen dollars and they don't really last all that long so like the other one that she had sent me i only used like very very sparingly because I just feel like this tub just doesn't last all that long but um yeah so I did pick that up these there was like four when I went over there and I had picked one up and I was talking to my sister and then they were like gone by the time I turned around so I was only able to pick up one but for like three dollars you really can't beat that and then um I got another candle which this was five dollars and it's the winter candy apple and like I said my bath and body Works still has like these flavors um for five dollars it's crazy but I got Winter Candy Apple. Again, this is another one that I never picked up, but it smells so, like, girly and apple -y. It's not winter-based, you know what I mean? You can burn it all year long. So I figured $5, you can't beat that. Okay, and then, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of, like, out of order here. And then I got um, a pair of some more body butter. Again, like, this was, like, 3 bucks. I cannot beat it. It's just... Oh my goodness, and this smells super good. So I did get that. That was like the only two cents they had in body butters when I went because there was hardly anything left. My sister got a bunch of stuff too. And then I got like my new favorite lotion and it's the Carried Away. This was like $2.75 I believe on their sale. But oh, this is probably one of my most, like, fa this is probably one, this is probably one of my f most favorite lotions from them. I had never bought it before, and I saw it sitting there, and I grabbed it, and it was the last one, but oh my god, it smells good. And I did get a body wash, but I've, I'm already using it. It's Cashmere Glow. I heard it's Blondie talk about it, so I did grab it. The only thing about Bath & Body Works shower gels that I don't like, like in the shower, they lather up really nicely and they smell really good, but I don't find that the smell lingers on my skin. So, I mean, it was only like two something because it was on 75% off and I had a coupon, but other than that, that was kind of a bummer, but I did um, grab Carried Away. And then the last thing in here is Pink Chiffon. Again, this is another one that I never owned before, but I heard, but I heard a lot of people talking about it and yeah, it smells really good. And it was, they had a bunch of these there. Mm, it smells pretty good. They had a lot of lotions. They didn't have any like body sprays or anything when I went this time. So that's all on the first trip. And then I went again and I got a whole bunch more. But like all this stuff was only like, all this stuff was like only 30 bucks because I had a coupon. So I did get that marshmallow fireside that's burning in the back of me. And then I got a mason jar winter candy apple. I like these on my Alex store. They're not too big. Um, and I like the little jars. I think they're really cute. So I did get this. This ended up being like, because it was $12.50 with 75% off. So whatever that equals out to. But get, did get winter candy apple because it actually smells really good. And then I got one more candle. I did get another candle, which is the Fresh Picked Blackberry Spice. This was just sitting there and 
smells really good. It's, it's a really nice scent. I think it'll be a good kitchen scent. So I did get that. And like I said, a lot of their $5, the larger candles, they had like the, the scent Winter, which I love. They had a lot of good ones, but I have a drawer full. So I try to get stuff that I didn't already have. Um, okay, so the rest are lotions except this. This is the Candy Cane Bliss um, Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This ended up only coming to like a dollar something. So I did pick it up and I really like the peppermint smell. This smells super good. So um, I wanted to get that because it was so cheap. And then um, the only other thing that I got that wasn't on sale, which it was only like $5.50, is this Rose Solve, I believe it's called. And it's the Rose Extract by C.O. Bigelow or whatever. This is supposed to be really good for your cuticles, your lips, your like dry patches, your elbows, your knees. This does work. It just comes in this little tube and you do have to kind of, it's kind of thick. Um, and it's like really slimy, you not slimy, but kind of greasy, you know, like trying to get it out, but just looks like that. I don't know. It doesn't smell like roses or anything, but um, really good. I put it on my elbows because they tend to get dry in the winter and it really cleared it up fast. I was really impressed. So I did pick that up. I forgot who I talk, who I saw talking about that. I'm so tongue twisted. I haven't done a video in so long that I'm like, bloop, 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 bloop. so sorry, bear with me. Okay. So I did get this. All the rest of the stuff is 75% off. I got the Forever Red Vanilla Rum. Um, if you guys watch my channel, I do love the original Forever Red. And I saw this, this big bottle and this only came to like $4 and I was just like, whoa. And it smells really, really good. They had the smaller bottles, but I went ahead and just went large with it because it was 75% off and I figured I love body spray. So I did get that and I never smelt it before. And then I did get the lotion that went with it, this large lotion um, or body cream. So vanilla rum, forever red, it smells really good. Then another lotion I got is Bally Mango. This is a great one for like the summertime. Oh, smells so good. This is one of my sister's favorites and um, I wanted to get it. And then another lotion I got is this really nice one. I think this will be great for Valentine's Day because it's a very sexy kind of smell and it's sensual amber. This smells really, really good. Mm, mm, very, very good. So um, kind of like more spicy than sweet. So did get that. And then the last lotion that I got is Paris Nights. Um, I have a Paris one that I love and I have like two of them. And this was sitting there and it smells really good. So I really like that. Yeah. And then last but not least, I got a body spray. They finally had some body sprays this time and I should have grabbed another one of these because, oh my God, it's my favorite. It's the Sweethearts Honey Sweetheart. And uh, it was like two something. Oh my God. This is like the best smelling body spray that I've ever bought from them. And I never heard of it before. And too bad they didn't have the lotion, but this smells really good. Very, very strong like I don't want to say strong like in a bad way but it, it lingers and it smells more like a perfume than like a typical body spray so I really love that so that is all of my Bath and Body Works purchases so the next place that I went is the CCO and if you don't know what a CCO is a CCO is a cosmetics company outlet they have Estee Lauder brands like Smashbox, Bobbi Brown, MAC, uh, Clinique, um, of course Estee Lauder and I can't remember what else. I think there's Origins and stuff in there. But I did go and they have some really good stuff. It's kind of hit or miss. So you kind of have to, you know, if you see something, you have to grab it. Mine doesn't always get new stuff, it seems like. It seems like it's the same old stuff. But I hadn't been in there in a while. And so I went in there and I'm super excited. Sorry I have no makeup on. <laughs> I know, but I didn't, I just needed to film something. I get quite a bit of stuff at the CCO. So the first thing is this gem. I was so excited. I couldn't hardly help myself. It's the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder and it's in golden light. This is the one Jacqueline Hill raves about. I've seen a, a few more gurus starting to talk about it. It was only $26, which I think on her website, it's like 38 or maybe even 40, but it's just a beautiful bronzer. And, um, yeah, I was super, super excited to get it. So I can't wait to play with it. I'm super excited to get my hands on that. <clears throat> And if you want swatches or anything, I can do that at a later time. I'm just trying to get through this video because there is a ton of stuff. Um, I did pick up two lip liners. I love the lip pencils from MAC, and they have these there for $10. And on MAC's website, I believe they're $15, so you save $5 each. And I got Vino, which is a dark, um, kind of vampy one that I hear a lot about. And I've been wanting this one, and I couldn't believe they had it in magenta. This one is supposed to be really good for um, a lot of the lipsticks that I own. And I just, oh, I don't have a lot of MAC lip pencils 
but um, I wanted to grab these because I've been wanting these too. So I saved like $5 a piece, so that's pretty good. So grab those lip pencils. And then two lip products that I picked up, they were $10.25 each, and my friend um, is the one who picked them up first, and then she told me about them. And so I wanted to get them because they looked beautiful. This is a lip glass, and this is called Good Times. And then I got the... Um, Mateen, M-A-T-T-E-N-E, I have no idea, lipstick, and it's in the color Naked Bliss, which it just comes in these little beautiful things, and it's just a really gorgeous nude, so yeah, can't wait to use these too, so I grabbed those, and that's all from the CCO. I went to Walgreens because I needed some new tweezers because mine were getting really dull, and I do have a pair of tweezer mins, and I know you can send them off to get resharpened and stuff, but I didn't have a backup pair, so I just picked up some tweezer min tweezers. These are like $24, but they are like the best, and I get the slanted ones. They get like every little hair because my eyebrows grow so fast, and they get a lot of those little like speckles, you know, before they're actually grown in long, and I hate that, but these really get in there and grab it, and they are very sharp, so at first, like when I first use them until I get them worn down a little bit, they kind of are like really sharp and you have to be really careful, but these are the best tweezers I've ever used. And then my mom sent me up a goodie bag, which was super sweet of her, and she's been dying for me to show you guys all the great stuff she's got. Um, I got this box probably, I don't, I believe it was like a week and a half ago. I just haven't got around to it, but also... If you guys want like a separate video or like an update video of swatches, because like I said, there's so many products, this video is going to be forever long, so I'm, I'm just going to breeze right through it. Um, but you can also Google it. I'm sure there's plenty of videos too on YouTube that show these products. But anyway, the first thing she did get me is this Makeup Forever, um, it's a number two. It's the Camouflage Cream Palette. So it has a lot of really nice concealers, some corrective concealers. So I haven't even played with it. I believe she bought this and she didn't end up using it. So she just sent it to me. So I will definitely play around with that. So can't wait. And then she got me the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. This is in the shade Ivory. I did find this in my area, but I never could find ivory. They had true ivory, which was too dark, um, or it might have been too light. I don't remember. Yeah, because light ivory was too light, and then true ivory was too dark, and I just needed straight up ivory, and I never could find it. I didn't even see a spot for it, which was weird, but she found it, so haven't even tried it. Like I said, I haven't even worn makeup in like three weeks. It's kind of bad, but um, yeah. And then she did get me the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So I cannot wait to try this. This is really supposed to be a good um, pore eraser. I don't believe it's marketed as a primer like a lot of people have said. Um, I believe it's just supposed to help with your pores. I haven't tried it yet. I've heard it's a dupe for the Benefit Pore Professional, which I do own, that I heard it's not. So I'm just going to try it out for myself. If you want a video, definitely let me know. But I haven't even tried it. As you see, it's still in the package. Then she did get me, like, oh my gosh, an Ella Masca blush, which this is my very first Ella Masca blush. And it's in the color Hussy. Um, beautiful, super pigmented. Oh my God, like one little swipe and it just stains your hands. It's absolutely beautiful. So it's my very first one. So I'm really excited to have that. And then she said that um, she had bought this or someone had bought it for her or gave it to her, like her sister or something, and she didn't like it. And this is the MAC Lip Pencil and Lasting Sensation. It's kind of a bright coral, so I don't know exactly what I'll do with it, but I'm going to give it a try. If not, I'll give it away, but um, I'm going to try it for the upcoming kind of, you know, warmer months. Hopefully it's been so cold. I'm really tired of it. Um, and then she got me um, a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Powder in Opal. I have seen these talked about, and I wanted Opal and Moonstone. I wanted Opal more than Moonstone, and I have swatched this. This is the most beautiful, gorgeous highlighter you will ever see in your entire life. Oh my god, you guys, like, I can't even, look how pigmented that is. Oh, it is super gorgeous. I, I know you can't see it, but I, I can't even, like, it is so flipping pretty. So I definitely was glad to get this. I, she totally surprised me with all this. I couldn't believe it. So some, only some of it I knew of, but I could, oh my God, gorgeous highlighter. So yeah, I do want Moonstone, which is the lighter one, but I wanted that one the most. 
And then she did get me, there's like stickers everywhere. Um, she did get me a Urban Decay Naked Gloss. These are new. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard much hype about them, but she got me the shade Naked. There's a lot of pretty ones, but Naked is the one I wanted the most. It's just a really pretty kind of rosy naked color, so the packaging just kind of looks like that. Um, haven't really tried it. I swatched it. It's really pretty, so ooh, can't wait to try it. And then I got a NARS lip gloss and Angelica. I have Turkish Delight and that's the only NARS one that I own. Um, I love the NARS lip gloss formulas and she picked me up Angelica which is just like, it's really pretty pink. Cannot wait, cannot wait. <laughs> she totally spoiled me. I don't even know what I did right. And she sent me the NARS Larger Than Life Eyeliner in Via Veneto. I don't know if that's right, but I've seen a lot of people talk about this eyeliner. It's super black. Um, my Sephora, which is like three hours away, so I don't go there a lot, but every time I've gone in there, they never have the black. And it just is a black pencil, but super like black, doesn't go anywhere. So again, total surprise. I can't even believe she remembered that I wanted that because I've been chasing after it for quite a while and that opal is gorgeous oh my god with these lights woo girl i need to be putting some makeup on tomorrow i'm gonna try i'm gonna put makeup on i just it's just been my daughter's sick i'm sick it just it's so cold and ugh. anyways the last two things that were in my little goodie box are these covergirl i think they're from like the pastel collection i don't really remember doesn't say on there but she got me honeyed and she got me cream so a really pretty pink and a really pretty nude so cannot wait to try these I swatched them they are gorgeous so yeah I can't find these in my area so that's everything from my mom thank you mom I love everything oh, I cannot wait she's like you better start putting that on you know because she sent me so much good stuff and I haven't even worn any of it but I will and if you guys want a first impression let me know on this Rimmel stay matte is my basket that I've been collecting over the past month and I have it full of stuff so I'm just going to show you really quick and then I'm going to end this video so if there's any reviews you want or any type of demos on any of these products definitely let me know and I'm so glad my room is done you guys I just love it in here so much I know I'm scatterbrained not no makeup on <sighs> whatever it's keeping it real around here okay so the first thing that's in this basket i don't even know what we're gonna find in here honey but we're just gonna dig in so um are these clear containers they were a dollar in the target section um i think these are going to be really good for makeup this one is the, the well these two are the three compartments and they're actually pretty decent size so i did pick them up because for a dollar you really can't beat that and then i got two of these squares but I figured like um, eyeshadow, stuff like that will go in this, um, you know, like little stuff. So for a buck, you can't beat that. And then they had some like really small ones, but you know, I tried to get stuff that would be functional for me. I picked up some lashes. I got the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. These are one of my favorite pair of lashes and I didn't have any more. And then I picked up the Maybelline Rocket Volume. I didn't need any more mascara, but I used to love this. And I see people use it occasionally and I'm like, oh, I need to pick it up. I need to pick it up. And I, then I did and oh, love it. It's so good. It's just such a pain to get off, but it's really good. For the drugstore, it's pretty pretty darn awesome. So the last few things, um, this one is from Marshalls and this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo, a hint of color, dark and deep brown. I did try um, the original, hated it, I did not like it. I've heard great things about the dark and deep brown, so I did pick it up, it was $5.99. Haven't tried it yet, but really eager to. Um, and then I got the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Um, my under eyes are pretty dry and um, I really, I don't have like an actual primer for my under eyes and this is hydrating so I figured kill two birds with one stone. Haven't tried it yet but um, I can't wait to, to see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll probably do like a demo or a first impression or something on it because it's very interesting to me because I don't have anything like it in my collection. And then another mascara that I picked up is the Maybelline Illegal Length. This is one of my all time favorites for the lower lashes. I really love the Wet n Wild one that I've raved about for a long time. I love that one. This one's a little bit more dramatic it makes them more like not spidery but more separated kind of just more dramatic and I just I love this for like smokier look so I did want to grab it because I love that mascara I really don't use it for the upper but for the lower it's amazing and then some Maybelline products this all the rest are Maybelline this is the Maybelline color show nail polish I don't own any of these and this is in the color 
taupe on trend so it's just a really pretty kind of purpley taupe and I don't own anything like this so can't wait to give that a whirl and then I got two of the Maybelline color elixirs um, these were at my Walmart actually and they were only like $5.50 we're at like uh, CVS and Walgreens are like $9 so um, I picked up the colors Petal Plush 100 and then 060 Nude Illusion I haven't tried these, but they're very, very pretty. I'm sure you can find a lot of um, swatches and reviews and stuff on these because these are kind of old news a little bit, but I did pick them up. I seen them in my Walmart and wanted to grab them. And then the last thing I picked up is this Maybelline Dream Wonder. Um, I've heard a lot about it. I've seen a lot of commercials. It's supposed to be a really good powder. I just got this yesterday, so I haven't even tried it yet. And I got the shade 20 Classic Ivory, which is the lightest, which I think it'll be a good match. So can't wait to give this a try and maybe do a impre first impression video or something. Okay, so that's it. So sorry I've been MIA, um, but I'm so glad for all of you. I'm so grateful for all of you that have checked up on me, and um, I really just, it just, there's been a lot going on. But now that everything seems to be calm, I'm hoping to get stuff kind of, you know, videos filmed and stuff. So this is obviously all collective. It's not just something I bought in one day, but I've just been keeping it so I can do a video of some sort for you guys. So, and then I did go to Marshall's today. I know this video is so long and I'm sorry, but that's why I didn't have time for swatches because it's like, whoa. But I did pick up three things from Marshall's. Marshall's is so amazing. So I definitely want to show you guys because I couldn't believe the deals that I found. So let me go ahead. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and show you, but um, I'll go ahead and tell you guys bye now. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for checking up on me. Um, again, leave me any requests. I am back on track. I promise. Um, and I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys soon and let's get on and I'll show you the stuff that I got from Marshall's. Okay guys, so this is the first thing that I picked up at Marshall's. It was 14 bucks and look how cute it is. So um, it's just a little bird cage and I kept the stuff that's already on it. But um, basically the reason why I wanted to get this is I wanted to try um, and start a PO box. That way you guys can send me letters and cards or whatever you guys want to do. Um, so let me know if you guys like that idea and I'll definitely do that. So I thought I could use this to display some cards I might get from you guys or letters or, you know, whatever. But I just love it. I think it's super cute. So it's in my little makeup room. Ah, love it. I did grab some flowers. I wanted to break up the color in here just a little bit. So this is what you see behind me. I got this at Marshall's again. Um, these were $16, but they're super, super pretty. Just yellow roses. And I think yellow goes really beautiful in here. So I did get that. And then the last thing is right here, which for all you makeup lovers, you are going to love it. This is a three drawer clear acrylic container that I got at Marshall's. And um, I got it for 20 bucks. And they had some with lipstick, you know, like holders on top. And then they had some you know, like two drawers, but I got the three drawer and I love it. So I can't wait to fill it, but it just looks so pretty on my vanity.